All right, so this is how you slip cast. First of all, you need to make sure that you have paper or something on your table <clears throat> in case your mold does open. You have something to kind of catch it before it smears and spreads everywhere. So you're gonna need to get your supplies first. You're gonna grab your uh, container of slip casting material, your uh, mold left and the right side. Some of the molds have three pieces, some of them only have two, so left and right. You're gonna grab a small little container of water with a little sponge. You need a roll of duct tape. Um, this semester I have the aqua color just so that we're making sure we're using duct tape, not masking tape. Masking tape will not work. And what you're gonna do is take your mold, make sure that it's nice and clean, that there's no residue from a previous cast. And you're gonna take your sponge and just have it damp. And you're going to dampen the inside of the mold. The reason that you're doing that is when the slip casting material goes into the mold, the plaster, is, which is what the mold is made of, wants to suck all of the moisture up immediately. So if you are pouring your slip casting material down the center, if the plaster takes a lot of the moisture out of the slip cast material too fast, it's gonna clog right here and your slip casting material won't be able to flow all the way to the um, outermost uh, details. So now that you have added a little bit of uh, water to the inside of your mold, you're going to put the one on top of another. Then you're gonna stand it up, and when the way that you tape it is you are going to have it standing like this, and then you're going to put the tape all the way around, and take this. The way it's gonna stick the best is you're gonna hold it super tight, and pull the tape and just make sure the tape overlaps the other tape. Okay, like that. So essentially you're not gonna be able to open this and there's no gap here. Okay, so nice and tight next to each other. Then you're gonna take your slip casting material and you're gonna stir it, making sure that all the water and all of the slip are really mixed together. This material is very liquidy. It's about 75% water, only 25% clay. It's very silky, like pudding, essentially. So just make sure that it is nice and stirred up, and then you're gonna quickly, but efficiently, start pouring it in until you get like that, okay? Then what you're gonna do is gently holding it together, tap, and that is gonna release any of the air bubbles that might have been trapped in any of the details. And then you're gonna let it sit. For about 10 minutes, what you're gonna notice is that the top is gonna to look like it's um, sunk down a little bit, and the whole top here is gonna get thicker than, um, than what it looks right now. So through the magic of time, we're gonna just hurry it up, we're gonna take it, and we're gonna dump it back on top of here. If you have a mold that is way too big and the opening for your mold is much wider than the opening for the container, you can go grab a bowl from underneath the sink and pour it into the bowl and then the bowl back into here. But what you wanna do is you wanna just keep tapping until all of the drips stop, okay? So like that, and then once it's stopped, what you're left with is not a solid mold, but now you have almost like a, a candy coated shell. You're gonna leave that dry for about three to four days. You're gonna know when it's ready to take out of the mold because it's gonna start peeling away all by itself. After your mold is done, you're gonna take the tape away and you're gonna slowly try to open it. If it gives you any resistance, leave it alone, call me over and I'll help you. But if it's able to release all by itself, what's gonna happen is after you open this, you're gonna have whatever the mold was, a perfect copy. And you can do it over and over and over again as many times as you want. You can underglaze this, you can gloss glaze it, and then this is your finished product. But you can hear it's a very, very thin layer of clay. And then that's it. When you do unveil your piece that's inside, make sure that you do clean the mold so that it is good for the next time for somebody else. Okay? Thank you.